Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, my favorites for January and February. Yes, I'm late. I'm combining the two, trying to get back into the groove of doing my videos. So, for January and February, my goal was basically to try to use up a few things. So, the things that I'm using are in conjunction with trying to hurry up and move things out. Let me start with my skincare. The skincare did not change very much. I didn't try to move anything out. The first thing is from The Ordinary. It is their Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I love this. You can see that I am getting really, really close to the end. This I would use when I was not doing a facial scrub in the morning because if I use a certain soap or facial scrub in the morning <gasps> but other than that this is amazing I felt like it kind of boosted the next thing which is the wrong one <laughs> the lactic acid 10 per, 10% from the ordinary again love this it's economical it gets you what you want it's going to be a light exfoliant for the skin and I have to say that this along with the other things for my skincare, which there's a video coming on that, were absolutely amazing. The third thing for skincare that I felt like was a game changer for me is going to be the Alpha Abutin. I mean, like I'm always talking about vitamin C, and you guys know that I love the vitamin C because it brightens your skin. But when you have hyperpigmentation, the last thing you want is the skin to... Um, darken and the alpha butin it's um stops the production of melanin so that you don't have the hyperpigmentation and i feel like this is it's so subtle at first i wasn't sure it was actually doing anything but then when i stopped using it i noticed the hyperpigmentation scars were way more obvious so these three things are going to be are my current go-to or things that i feel like are doing the most for my skincare you know I, I love my my vitamin c but i'm going to be trying a different one for that um and i've already mentioned um how in the last video i think how i'm using a lip scrub and i feel like it's helping with your lips um the perfume that i have been using for the last two months it's going to be a combo and this is um coach poppy flower coach poppy and it's the dual roller ball so i was rotating between the two of these it's like i love the way both of them smell um you can see on this one i am halfway this one a little less you can figure out which one i've been grabbing the most i love the fact that i've got two scents in one so i just you know unroll it put it on and then just walk out the house and it's like I can and so oh this feels so good so that's the perfume that I have been loving for the last two months and I, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is tools um the two tools that I have been using the most especially helping me go through my drugstore foundations the first one is this little thing and it's they're both dirty because I use them um this helps me scoop out every last bit of foundation that's inside either the tubes or the bottles and so at first I was like oh I've used stuff up and then I saw a video where someone was talking about if you cut it in half you'll see you have a lot of products in there I did that and I purchased this and this has been like amazing so it's like making sure I get every ounce of foundation out if i paid for it i want to use it so this i feel like is absolutely amazing and then i purchased this at tj maxx it came with a set but the thing that i love is this from um real techniques i don't know what number brush this is because um the package had the number but on the actual ferrule or the brush it doesn't tell you but this is my go-to foundation brush i love the sponge and lately if i had to choose between this and the sponge i'm gonna grab this i just feel like it's just who it just it just applies it amazing and then i go back with the sponge to kind of take out any possible brush marks this doesn't leave as many as you would think um this again is from real techniques i just happened to come across in, in TJ Maxx as I was going at home goods kind of swung over to TJ Maxx and was like oh let me get this I don't use the other two brushes that come with it it's a contour brush an eyeliner eyeshadow brush they're cute I love the you know because they're glittery purple but this is what I, I grab the absolute most I was telling you that I am using up my drugstore foundations some of them I have been like postponing or putting off using because it was like the wrong shade and so purchases from Sephora to help me with finding the right shade and this is the cover FX custom drops and this is 80g at first I had gotten another shade and it was way 
too red. So I, I've been using this to give me the glow, but this also helps with finding those drugstore foundations, like the one that I'm, I'm using this week, where it's red or neutral, and I need that yellow undertone to like make me look like me. But I definitely feel like this is a game changer for me, especially if you're, I'm going to be using drugstore foundations where it's not quite my skin tone. So I use that mostly. The other thing um, that I have been loving is the Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go. It's a two-on primer and setting spray. I don't really use this as a primer, but I do use it as a setting spray, especially if some of the drugstore foundations that I use I'm using a powder and I'll talk the one I use the most um, if I feel like I look too powdery I'll definitely spray this and it just sets it doesn't have any weird smells and it's shine control locks makeup quick dry and it's oil free and you know for me being an oily person shine control is a, is a must the powder that I've been using and it was in the last favorite so you know that that's it's not going to change and I, I keep it in this Kativa container because unfortunately the package cracks like no other l'oreal infallible pro matte and this is what the package looks like and after three uses where i open it up it will crack and so then i just pop out the pan and stick it in this one and you can see i've hit pan and i'm just trying to get the rest of it but i keep buying this powder because one it's my shade two it's matte so it helps me get what i get the look that I want if I have a foundation that's a little too red this kind of helps out um, I will say that it does not work well with certain foundations I've discovered that as I'm doing this using up my drugstore some drugstore foundations this does not like um, but luckily there are foundations that I wasn't fond of and I don't plan on repurchasing but if someone is oily and they're looking for a foundation that's going to keep you matte as well as get a little tone on you, definitely go for this. Um, for concealers, I was using two types of concealers. I was using the LA Girl Pro. I just emptied it out, just finished it, and it's in my empty so I'll have to either insert a photo but I was using that one and then when I wasn't using that one I'm using the true match from L'Oreal and I am in six seven eight so here it is here but I started off with the, the again LA Girl Pro and it was in fawn and I was using that for the under eye I was using it to you know um between my when I the waxing or the plucking on my brows I would do that to give me that sharp crisp line and then I love this it has a little pencil and you can see I'm getting close to the end I mean that's that's it so I probably have another month with this and then I'm definitely going to have to go pick up another concealer which I've already done but yeah I love L'Oreal I feel like they are the, one of the two drugstore companies that I feel like I can go to and feel safe that it's going to work for me. When I go to high-end powders, it is Hourglass, and this is Diffuse Light. It's the Ambient Diffuse Light, and I have the smaller one because I wasn't sure if I would like it, so I, I got the smaller one, and I'm definitely going back to get a bigger one. Here it is right here. I use this mostly for under my eyes and the t-zone and because it's like i'm just wanting to diffuse some of the my pores and kind of give that look lit within kind of look i have used it all over the face and i feel like in concentrated areas it looks better on me than all over the face because then it just like i feel like it doesn't like emphasize or draw your attention to certain areas but when i just put it underneath my my eyes and then i do my forehead and my nose and then my chin i'm like whoa and it's like people are like you kind of look at it my photos on instagram you can tell i mean like i can look at the photos and i'd be like oh i know what what powder i used because it just has that glow within look so i definitely like this and i definitely want to try other and hourglass ambient light powders lips <laughs> lips i have been all over the place for the last two months the thing that i can say i have been consistent with is this from missy lynn and i don't use it as a lipstick which is what it was intended for i actually use it as a lip liner and i have it on my lips now as a liner i feel like it is equivalent to my natural lip line and any lipstick that i put on where i feel like eh, it's missing something or i just want to bump it up i just take my little lip um brush and I just get this, which is technically a lipstick, or I'll just like line it and then put another lipstick inside of it and just 
but this is if I can find this shade in an actual lip pencil I am happy I have a bunch of other lip pencils I don't even grab them once I got this from my sister I was like all the others it was like you know how you're you're trying a lip pencil he's like mm, it's not quite but you still use it and then as soon as I got this I was like this is it why why try another this is it this does what I want it to do I, it works with my red lipsticks, it works with my pinks, my purples, my neutrals, because it just looks like my lip line and, and it fades. You can do like a, a strong line and then fade it out onto your lip or a really soft line and then fade it to the center of your lip so it looks like you can change the lip shade if it's not quite working for you. I just love this. I just, I don't like that they discontinued her line and I don't like that I can't find this in a pencil. But um, trying to get back into being healthy, so I started going back to using my Garcinia Cambogia. Um, this is from Walmart. I did find two other brands that I want to try from GNC with the Garcinia Cambogia. It's supposed to help with weight loss. I remember when I was using and working out, it helped me lose more weight. When I wasn't working out, I was like, okay, I had maintained. I stopped using it and I gained. So I'm going to hit the gym back and I'm going to take this a little more serious so that I can drop the weight that I gained in more. And I'm also thinking about going back to intermittent fasting, but that's a whole nother subject. So <laughs> the last things on my favorites for the last two months is eye products. First one is this Wet n Wild Eyebrow Pencil. This is actually, it says a brow eyeliner pencil. I've used it so much, you can barely see the words on it. I mean, like, I can clearly see Wet n Wild, and this is um, Minx Brown. This, just, I, just look at my brows. Look at my brows. I mean, they look good when I went kind of blonde, which the blonde highlights in here, but I've gone more blonde than this. It looked great. When I went midnight blue, it looked great. When I went black, it looked great. I just feel like this is amazing. The uh, next thing from Wet n Wild that I have been using for the last two months is going to be from their Not A Peach eyeshadow collection. This is a dupe or close to for the Too Faced. Um, but I love it. Honest and truly, I rarely, if ever, touch the blue. But other than that, I have used every single shade in here. This is just amazing. And it's only $5. I will tell you, Wet n Wild is the other go-to brand in the drugstore that I know I can get products that are pigmented, that will work, that have color, that last. They're just everything. Um... As I say that, I go to the next brand, which is Maybelline. So, Maybelline has the one thing that I absolutely love. And it is their lasting, eye-defining eye pencil. And I've been, like, struggling with this. This was three times its size. And you see, this is where it is now. This is waterproof. And it is the blackest black eyeliner. I have a few others. And, but I've been, like, holding on to this one, trying to get this out. I have Kat Von D and a few other ones. But the price point as well as the color and it's waterproof once it's set it's set so i really do like this i'm i'm that's sad that i'm holding on to this but it is absolutely amazing and then the eyeshadows that i've been using when i wasn't using the just the peach um not not an ordinary peach from what while it is my holiday collection from Too Faced. this is dream queen i oh my god and I, t I talked myself out of buying this three or four times. And I finally just said, you know what? You're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're going to get this holiday collection. You've been wanting a holiday collection from Too Faced. Just buy it. And I'm glad I got this. I know some people said it was too similar to their previous ones. I don't have their previous ones. But I do like this one. I can tell you that this is a great shade on me for transition. I, I've used the two blushes just as a light coating. Not what I'm wearing now. But... They're absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not a huge highlighter because I feel like being oily highlighters make me look like I'm an oil slick. But when I do use a highlighter, I grab this palette. This is absolutely amazing on my skin tone. There are a few other ones that I have that I like. But I mean, I've used all but five shades in this whole thing. The 
I just feel like it was a great purchase. I I'm glad that I, I bought it and I'm glad that I use it because I know a lot of people will buy like the holiday collection and they never touch it again. I was constantly pulling looks and if I wanted to go out with my friends, um, not so out of 10, I pulled a look from this. So that's it guys. Those are my favorites for the last two months. Let me know if you have any suggestions on products you think I should try or drugstore foundations that you're like, this is the one you need to try it. Um, I hope that you have a blessed day. Know that you are blessed in love and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.